Footloose, Madonna, the Step Up film franchise, the one thing they all have in common is Jamal Sims, one of the most sought after choreographers in our industry. He got his big break when he was just 17 and was cast as a background dancer in Michael Jackson's video for Remember the Time. And since then, his career has recently come full circle. He helped choreograph Cirque du Soleil's Immortal, their tribute to the late king of pop. I am your host, Galen Hooks. Jamal, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. I'm so excited you're here. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, right? <laughs> so you do these huge projects, and in the midst of it all, you always seem to have this great sense of humility that I love, and I assume that comes from your upbringing. So let's start from there. What was it like growing up in Rancho Cucamonga? So it was, it was really, really... Uh, humble beginnings. We, we didn't have a lot out there. We had to kind of create our own fun, uh, cool. whether it be like out in the field, riding dirt bikes and stuff like that. Did you start taking dance classes or what got you into dance? Thriller came out uh -huh. and that's what made me dance. Like, from Why do I point, feel like you had a jacket? You had a Thriller jacket, didn't I had, you? <laughs> I had a raggedy Thriller jacket. It, was, it wasn't quite leather, it was pleather. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it works. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. So Thriller came out on MTV. I wanted to do it for my talent show. So I was in seventh grade and I was like, I have to do, I have to perform this. So I learned everything the opposite way, right? Mm -hmm. The TV way. So yep. when you learn things off of TV, I didn't have any dance training. I didn't know to turn around you and learn it the other way, right? So you didn't put it in the mirror. No, no, I didn't put the mirror. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't that advanced. Now you know. Right? Now, now I know, but back then I wasn't that advanced. So I learned it off the TV. Um, I asked like all my friends if they would come in and dance, and they're like, nah, man, you know, that dancing ain't cool, you know, da, da, da. so the dudes weren't, weren't doing it, but the girls, uh, I got a couple <laughs> of my girlfriends to do it, and they came up and they, you know, dressed as the monsters or whatever, so I performed Thriller, but the only thing is I needed a glove. Even though he didn't wear a glove in Thriller, I wanted a glove for, for myself for, for this, right, right? So I called my grandmother. And we called Grandma Deer. I was like, you know, Grandma Deer, I need a glove because I thought, you know, she's. I thought she was like a seamstress or something like that. Mm -hmm. She had she had a whole bunch of stuff she made. Um, so so I asked her if she would make me a, a glove for my show, and she she's like, oh yeah, sure. Well, come day of the show, um, she's uh, like, oh, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing, it, I'm bringing. It. I get it, and she puts it in the box and she gives it to me, and it's a garden glove. And, oh um, my God, Jamal! <laughs> she, she, she put nickels and dimes. She put anything that would shine what? on this glove, right? So I had to perform with this raggedy glove and do Thriller. But and and the funny part about it is that it was falling apart the whole time I was dancing, you know, in this number. But that was like my Michael Jackson moment. That was right. But uh, the number was amazing, and uh, from that point, I felt like I was popular because people, you know, would be like, "Oh, you're that dude that was dancing in, you know, Aww. in the talent show and this kind of thing." And cool. Um, so how did that then turn into a career? Well, I I, I wanted to sing. Like that's what I wanted to be a singer. Right, so I can't sing, but uh, oh, sure I, I, no, no, can. I can't. No, no, I, I can do a tune or two, but but it's not like that. Not <laughs> a that tune or two. Yeah, a tune or two, but uh, but but then there was a show called Putting on the Hits, and you know, mm -hmm. you could lip sync. So there was a group called New Edition, and that I love, New right? New Edition, yes. that's where it all started. And then uh, I was like, I want to, I have to be in that group, and so my dad was like, Well, you should start your own group, and let's call it Fresh Attraction. So there's New Edition, and there's Fresh Attraction, okay? Right? So I was like, Okay, cool. Go so, Dad. yeah, yeah. So, me and my brothers, we all, me and my brothers and cousins, we uh, put together a group, and we went on, we auditioned, and we, we, we got pretty far. We got a record deal, what? For, so, yeah, I know. I couldn't, I wasn't the singer, in the group. I definitely wasn't the singer. I know, what, were you the rapper? So, I was, I was the one that'd be like. Yeah, baby. So Ooh, uh, you know, yes. I was, I was yeah, a the talker. Talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I talk. Nice. Yeah. I can I see like, that. Yeah, that cool. was me. So, uh, so then, but but meanwhile, I'm doing all the choreography for the group. Okay. I would do all the steps, and the, and I was the dancer of the group. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if there wasn't any time that no one was singing. I was in the front dancing the hardest. Right. You know. You don't know what I'll do for you. Come inside. I'll come on. So I think that, you know, I didn't know there was an actual job that was called choreographer. I just felt like it was just making up the steps, mm -hmm. you know. So I think that that's really where, you know, I started working as a choreographer. But that was just so I so we could do our singing group. So you we were got, really a choreographer before a dancer. Yes, know? yeah, but I didn't know it. Because I guess in school, in the career center, there wasn't, I didn't see a thing, anything that said choreographer. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it just didn't. Didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, it's not so on the list of things. It they was, no, 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 nope. no. It was doctor, lawyer, <laughs> yeah. there was no choreographer. No choreographer. 
So we did the scene group, we got a record deal, we did a video, and I was like, oh, this is it, you know? And um, the month that the video was released, the record company shut down. And <laughs> something, something crazy happened, and uh, we lost our deal, and the album didn't do anything, and we were just, so I was like, I don't know what to do. While Jamal's singing career may have come to an end, his passion for dance was about to take him somewhere completely unexpected to open auditions for the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. So I went down there, actually the whole group went down there. We all went down there to, to audition for this thing, and um, I walked in, I remember seeing all of like the dancers that were seeing videos, and I was starstruck by them. Cool. You know, walking into this audition, I was like, dang, that's such and such in that video. Or, wow. Oh, he was in Bobby Brown, you know, whatever. So I'm looking <clears> around, uh, so I'm kind of starstruck, and then Fatima Robinson, she was the choreographer, mm -hmm. and I was like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know her at the time, and so I, I, you know, you know, I was just like, okay, cool, I see him teaching the steps, I learned the steps, and we come in, they cut it down, they narrow it down. Long story short, I got the job, yes. and that was my first job ever, and um, that's where I started, I was 17, and Cool. Dancing. So, so what was the job like? I mean, that's your first job, and it's with Michael Jackson. I know. What, what? It's crazy. Do you remember a lot? Do you remember every second of it? I do remember, you remember every second. I remember walking in and doing it and doing the choreography for Michael. They mm -hmm. separate us four by four, so four people at a time. And he's sitting there like Indian style watching this. And so when I dance, you know, I, I do a lot of facial expressions. I don't know if that's good, but I, you know, I just kind of you know give a little just extra, it, you know, yeah. just a little, little performance level. So um, I'm in there like, <laughs> like doing all this stuff. And every time, every time I do it, Michael be like, he was kind of <laughs> like mimic, you know, like, so I'm feeling like he's kind of feeling it. You know what I mean? Like he gets where I'm at, you mm -hmm. know? So we finish and our group goes, I go sit down and I, and I look up and he, he looked across the room and he was like, Oh, you know, how sweet. And that was it. That was all oh, I needed. I was do you like, have oh, that like freeze framed in yeah, your head? Yeah, that's my, that's the memory that I keep, you oh know? Oh my gosh, that's and amazing. Yeah, so it's kind of, after that, I was like, well, Stamp of approval, man. I'm done. You know, yeah. no. well, that's what I thought I was done. And then well, I realized once done. I got done with that uh, video, I was back on the grind and I realized that there's so much more I had to learn. As luck would have it, Jamal turned out to be a quick study. His career started taking off, allowing him to choreograph projects including Footloose, Dancing with the Stars, and all four movies in the Step Up film franchise. In the end, you love what you do. There's so many fantastic things. Yeah. What are some of the things you love about being a choreographer? I love, I love dancers. So, those, are, they're my best, like, like, all of my friends are dancers for some mm -hmm. reason. You know what I mean? I think that they're the best, like, they're awesome. People, they, no, no, no. And, and I, I'm not just saying this, I don't want to be corny. But I do want they to say are. that they just, they inspire me, you know, uh, from the way they dress to the way they talk to the music that they listen to. And so I just enjoy being around dancers. Mm -hmm. They just give me energy and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's one of my favorite parts. And then, you know, being able to create things that will um, last mm -hmm. from when I'm gone, you know, yep. the videos and the memories and stuff like that like that's really cool too you know so do you speaking of things living on do you look back at your early work and think mm. like yeah I was awesome mm. or do you look back mm. like you I say not so much, <laughs> every, not time, so much. <laughs> every time I'm like yikes you know it, it's it's I, I always I'm hard on myself uh -huh. I don't like to see myself in like I probably won't watch this because I just I, come you know on. I, no it's, it's hard it's so hard for me to see see myself do things and to take myself too serious, so mm -hmm. you know I don't. I don't really. Uh, so when I watch stuff, I cringe every, Aww, time, every time. But 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 you know. But I always like you know when when people say, "Oh, I like such and such." Mm -hmm. That always makes me feel good. Cool. But yeah, yeah. Do I you normally walk time. away feeling like you accomplished what you wanted to? Um, like yeah. I'd, no. I'd... Well, I no. I don't. No. No. I always feel like there wasn't enough time, oh. or you know, um, there's this few. There's a, like live TV shows. Like sometimes, like there'll there'll be moments where we shoot it and it is what it is, and I'm very happy, you mm -hmm. know. But sometimes, like a, a lot of times, you know, as you know, we we get in these time constraints and we don't get mm -hmm. to get everything that we want to get, and usually that is the problem, you know. What I mean, I'm like. Oh man, but if we had just did this, I, you know. Has there ever been a time where you walked away feeling like that was 
a good one. Like, there's nothing I would change. I When I danced on the Dancing with the Stars yeah. uh, last year, I walked away, like, thinking, okay, we did, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was it. That we was, did that. Yeah, yeah. We, we did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did that right there. Yeah, no, I, 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 I felt like that because, you know, it was, like, one of the first few times that they allowed me total creative mm -hmm. freedom. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, they gave me a theme, and I, they said, you know, just do something American. So let's round this out by asking you, yeah. why do you love dance? Dance, it always reminds me of being young. Mm. And because when I, when I was like two or three, I can remember, you know, my mom and dad having dinner parties and stuff like that, and, and with the family reunions, and be like, oh, Jamal, do, do that thing, do that <laughs> thing, do that thing that you did, you know, da, da, da. Mm. And, and I would do it, and, you know, to see, you know, their faces and everybody applaud, you know, applauding, you know, giving me applause. It was like amazing, you know. So I, I always, I always like when I start dancing, I kind of feel that joy that I did when I was younger. You know, I'm a lot older than that now, <laughs> but but I, you know, I, I do, I still every time I like that's, that's the awesome. joy that it gives me. Cool. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. thank you for being here, Jamal. Thank it was you for such having a pleasure. me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was absolutely. awesome. I'm yes. so happy you were here no. and we got to know a lot more about the man behind the moves. Oh, Everybody out there, don't forget to click subscribe and you can keep up with people like Jamal and our other top choreographers in the entire world and everybody here at D Studio. Uh, if you have any questions for Jamal that I didn't get to today, you can comment below on this video and ask your questions. You can post them on Facebook or Twitter and we will do our best to get to those questions. Thanks guys. See you next time.